Oh my god, hi everyone. Welcome to Go Away's Online TV. I'm Julia, and I feel like I'm a little bit higher octane today because of the energy in the room. Um, I don't know if you guys are ready for these dudes. We have a, a punk band in today, and they are on fire. We are on every second Thursday of the month, and we are at Go Away's Four Studios, and we are joined today by Mark, Mark number two, Owen, and Paul. And they are gonna start you off with a song called Point of View. For to tell you, Slovakia, Sri Lanka, we're all internationalists. Indo Trika. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you only have one gear, so it's cool. Like, yeah. <laughs> I must say, um, you're great on Spotify, but it doesn't do you justice. This is something else. And then I imagine live is like, whew. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's to do with like, you know, I mean, music for a start is not meant to be done in isolation, you know? It's to do with like uh, like building bonds and doing comedic like communicating. We, were, we were against recording for yeah, a couple yeah. of, good mm -hmm. couple of years, yeah. We were yeah, yeah, like it. if you can't do it live, what's the point? Right. So can I hang out with you and then it'll be all about personal connection. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well that's kind of the gig though, you know, it's like I'm I mean there. if you ever like I mean if you form a, like everybody in the history of rock and roll mm. who formed a band wanted to play to people. Mm. 
But I'm glad you recorded because it meant that you did some amazing things lately. You've been like on fire. What has been happening with you guys? You've well, been we got lucky. Up. We got picked up by people. You we, know? Re- <clears throat> we released our first single ever on the 1st of March and mm-hmm. uh, called Mental Health. We were just mad lucky. Uh, Paul McLoon in Today FM and Kate Brennan Harding just picked, picked, uh, picked us up and just continuously played us nonstop mm. on Today FM which was so cool so from there it's been it's been great like we have a platform people are listening to our music you mm. know? Mm. and Super you did some cool. shows as well we've yeah we've been playing shows that's kind of starting now mm. we're, we were down in Derry or up in Derry I we're should up say, in Derry last we're, week. We're, we're in Wheelands on Saturday we, we're in Beer House here in Galway on Friday, Friday yeah. but we, mm. we released our second single Point of View there last week so 26 um, so whatever date that was yeah, yeah. Mm. we've got a video coming for that as well probably Ooh. in the next week or so cool. so then back into the studio, probably June, release some more. Mm-hmm. It's all about singles these days. Some more singles. When I was telling people that I'm going shooting with you today, I was like, they are so angry. It's great. It's going to be so fun and electric. Why would you say that you guys are so angry? Yeah, well, it's so not. Angry? Well, why am I so angry? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's not angry to like any particular individual, you know, but it's, it, sure. it's a corrupt system, you know? It's like um, we come from a, like a stage where like, people can go to university for like five years and and emerge and still make no money, you know? It's like, um, we come from, as I said earlier, like we come from a generation that's been, that's been scalped, it's been robbed of our futures, you know? Um, it's, it's really important, like, um, like I have a master's, okay? And the, the, like, my opportunities in the future compared to say my dad who was a roofer mm. who had mm. no university are completely like adverse to each other mm. the ideas of us and um, he he managed to get the money to get to buy a house mm. and raise four kids i will never be able to do that mm. you know it's, it's a it's a we live in a, like in a like a neoliberal system where people like us are being screwed mm. there's no set trajectory anymore and it kind of creates a sense of disillusionment and a lot of inner sadness and turmoil and <laughs> well it's yeah. like the security of previous generations mm. for us has been taken away from us Absolutely, so it's yeah. like there's a lot to be mad about you know yeah and the housing is fecked and yeah yeah <laughs> it's like you know it's it's yeah. Brexit, Brexit, Trump. all this yeah. stuff, like the rise, every direction. Yeah, like the rise of the, like the 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 alt right and all these things. Mm. These are like disillusioned people of our generation, and a lot of them don't have the words or the education to articulate why they're pissed off. So they end up voting for Brexit, and they end up voting for people like Trump, or like they start back people like Nigel Farage. Mm. They start blaming immigrants. You know, there's a lot to be said. You know, mm. um, that's why we're angry. Thank you so much for being the voice of <laughs> we've had these discussions with my friends continuously and you know you're like yes you can take responsibility for your life but also there is a certain deck of cards that we've been dealt exactly so, yeah I yeah feel you. cool so you're gonna play the next song which is which it's called <clears throat> just, just for, for show. show yeah cool and um, this isn't a single yet but it probably will, it will be. be the next one yeah yeah Amazing. cool <laughs> cool cool that's <laughs> cheers Do a three words like right from fucking Galway. Here we go.
If I didn't feel pretentious, I would have joined you, but I'm like, it's not about me. Get up and jump. <laughs> yeah, get up and jump. Oh, get up, get up oh and my jump. god, I will at the next one. I promise. <laughs> I, I really want to see you live and like trash about the place. Oh, we're really good live. Of all like the false claims you can make and all like, the, like you know, you can say like, oh, I'm really cool. We're really good live. <laughs> Do you know, like you know, it. yeah, I yeah. Feel it. Yeah. yeah. And I get an exclusive preview <laughs> in a small room. How cool. Um, you're an eclectic bunch of lads. What do you think gels you together? Well, music is the obvious answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it's not. It's, yeah, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's like, but it's. I mean, if you go from like from like mods to like to ska to punk to like rock, it's not a massive draw. Junk. Mm. If you're really into it, like, because like I'm I'm into like soul music and stuff. Like I, I like I'm kind of a mod, <clears> whereas like. Fuzz and the boys would be like into way more heavier stuff than me traditionally. Cool. Like I would listen to like a lot of soul music. We have a lot of common ground. Though. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like it's music is music. Like when I was a kid, my dad said to me like, "There's two kinds of music, good and bad." Mm-hmm. Like you wouldn't like. I love country rock. He's going to do, he's going to do the country <laughs> rock thing after. Yeah. I think it's, it's, we're all very opinionated and we're all really into mm. music, you know, and I think it's like late nights arguing about, like, you make lots of grand claims about, like... Oh, like, I, I'm brilliant at making, like, like all-encompassing statements about the world, you know? It's oh, like, my God, amazing. So you're going to love my next philosophical question because we t- talked a little bit about how you're angry. Um, what, <laughs> <laughs> what would you say that you guys... Um, feel good about humanity for? Well, right. That's quite an easy question in a sense, man, because mm. you asked us about music earlier. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, it comes to the, the, the full way around. Like, if you even look at, like, for example, like if you look at, like, skinheads, right? Mm-hmm. That's been corrupted. I mean, every every musical genre, it doesn't really matter where you came from, where you come from, everything is positive, right? Mm-hmm. It becomes corrupted by the media or corporations or whatever it is. No music ever doesn't matter what the sh- started out bad. 
Mm-hmm. It got crunk Comes from a good place. Yeah, everything mm-hmm. starts from a good, from a good place. Mm-hmm. Be it folk, punk, it doesn't really matter. Black so, metal. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know really enough about that to comment on. But my point is, like, nobody ever starts a rock and roll band or even, uh, any music act to spread hate, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that, that's saying. a beautiful point. Yeah. yeah. And I guess I wouldn't know hugely because I was like, oh my God, a gully punk band, amazing. Mm. But you guys probably know more about what the scene is like in the city and in <laughs> the country. Um, what can enlighten me? In the country, it's... In the country, it's really good. It's the most exciting time it's ever been for punk. It's wow. Nuts! Mm. It's absolutely yeah. crazy. There's a revival. Is it a revival? No, it's always been there. Just people are again to use the word receptive right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a better word. Are, yeah, are a better word than revival. Yeah, this yeah. has always existed, but for some mm-hmm. reason, I don't know what it is. I think it's to do. I think I think it's to do with the political climate. I think it's to do with like uh, yeah people like like you know if you're if you're younger than forty, like you, you're when we were kids, you had a a path. Right, it was like mm-hmm. you had like you do your college. You'd go to school, go to college, mm-hmm. get a job, own a house. Right, for most people now, that's not attainable anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's kind of like there's like a, like a generation of people. People not, are pissed not, off, and people are listening yeah. to punk rock again. So yeah. the yeah. Irish Irish yeah. music, Irish punk music in particular, is in, in great health at the moment. Yeah. It's it's incredible. It's really cool. I um I can't tell you how much I relate to what you said because mm-hmm. like in the last few months especially you kind of realize y- yeah like I am letting go of certain dreams of owning property, getting married, doing. Well, the it's not across the board, but it yeah. is generally yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, an undercurrent. Yeah, fab. And you're gonna do the mental health song now. Yeah, which I'm very this is the single, about. and this this one's the dog's bollocks. <laughs> 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 Okay, you motherfuckers, we're called mental health. I don't just talk to you. 
Give me that frustration! <laughs> <laughs> Come sit with me again when you're ready, if you can. Hey, <laughs> well, when exactly was that song born? Um, two, about two years ago. Mm. Yeah. Which is mad. Um, that's that's a song we wrote in about I'd say fifteen minutes, genuinely. Mm -hmm. Well, it came with the riff, and it was like I just shout, I started shouting over it. Yeah. Uh, I think we just I started playing something in the practice room. Paul started drumming along, and then Mark just c sort of welded this amazing thing into it. And yeah, the first thing normally when we kind of play. Or a band sort of plays, the vocalist kind of tries things and everybody tries things, but yeah, that, Raftor yeah. just sang that exactly mm -hmm. almost well, what he sings it, now. It's right? just a rant, like, you know, there's there's nothing complicated about it, like, because, mm -hmm. like, I've had to deal with mental health services, like, you know, so it's it's born out of a real frustration, you know? Mm. And there's there's nothing like stage or like, uh, you know, there's nothing Hollywood about it. Yeah. You know, it's that's a real thing, you know? Yeah, that was that was it. We just we, I don't think we touched it. I think luckily we actually we played at a at a gig very quickly after we wrote it and somebody filmed it. Alison filmed it. Yeah, yeah. So we actually had it for reference on YouTube. I don't think we saw each other for a little while after, but like I I think had it not been filmed, we would have forgotten it completely. Like also the structure would have been forgotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. We didn't as loose as the structure is. It was very. It was even looser then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I feel as though it's like any time that you've been like on the edge of tears with frustration, it's like that's the song. That's, um, the, that's the entire point, yeah. 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 Um, to bring it up a little, um, what would you say is or was the best night of your life? Me personally or, or, or yeah. collectively? Mm, yeah, individually, let's go. <clears throat> Jeez, that's that's an awful. That's a that's a profound question. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it as personally as you want or as superficially as you want. I'll tell you right, they're like, <laughs> uh, well, of course it's, you have an immediate answer. <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's the best night of my life, right? But when I was 14, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> my old man brought me to see Neil Young and Pearl Jam. Ooh, strong. Yeah, so like, I wouldn't say it was the best night of my life, but it's one of the most formative. I don't even like Pearl Jam anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was one of the first times I ever saw, like, like, like guitar players, man, you know, mm. in the sense like, you know, there was like a, a big setup and all. And be, like, I was 14, I, I like going at it in football, you know? <laughs> 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 and it's like, I saw these guys, man, like, you know, with long hair and like, you know, ripped jeans and all. Mm. It's, I was 14, that's quite, that's quite an exposure to a new world, you know? Sure, yeah. Where did you see them? Did you in see the RDS. Them? <laughs> you could look it up what really happened, man, right? <laughs> You'd have to look up like the new weird them. lie. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the most bizarre lie ever if it didn't happen. But yeah, it was like 1995 or something. It was in the RDS. Mm. But it really happened, trust me. I, I trust <laughs> you, of course. Pearl Jam were Neil Young's backing band. And my old man wanted to go see Neil Young. And they did like all of them, a, a, a record called Well. I'm still a huge Neil Young fan. <laughs> what about your cell phone? Best night of your life? My dad brought me to see Neil Young and Pearl Jam. I swear to God, it happened. That's just weirdly, it just had a profound effect on me. That's the best night of my life. Well, I have a, a, a very cute question that I'm sure you guys never got before, and I'm so proud of myself for coming up with it. What was the slyest ride you ever got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'll just leave now. Jesus, that could be dark. <laughs> that, 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 yeah. <laughs> that could be a little bit like legality, so I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm more interested in whose answer is darker. Do the call. Thankfully, we haven't had any, like... Aggressively sly ride. <laughs> <laughs> There's been nothing. Everything's been above board, basically. Is what, I'm trying to say. what is the name from? How uh, this guy? Yeah. Mark insisted well, we were called sly ride from the get go. Right. It's, it's, I never questioned that. It's just two words, man. It's like right, but everyone knows what it means. Did you have? Did you have that in your head for months? Or? I think. I think, I, I, I think the two words sly ride sounds great. It does. It rolls off the tongue. Really yeah. Well. I now think it's too innocent to know what it means. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I'm not going to inform you either. So. I just think it sounds Cross great. Me, yeah, please. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it, like ev everyone's been in that position, where like you're you're meeting somebody you like, but you're not telling your friends. Oh, okay, strong, good. 
Okay, guys, thank you so much. Julia, thank you so I'm much. I'm shaking your hand because I want to touch you and feel your energy. <laughs> thank you very much. So very formal. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Slyrides. You've been great. Thank you so much, and everybody that tuned in. This was a very, very fun, vibrant show, I feel. I feel different after it. Um, thank you so much, and we'll be back with Tracy Bruin in two weeks. Please send us your questions. Please like this video. Please share it and give us all the love. We need validation. Okay? Thank you. Love you. Bye. Yes, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.